Hello, pilots of the internet. In this video, we are teaching you how to fold Rebel, which is an absolutely exceptional paper airplane designed by Will Barron. But first, I want to announce that Foldable Flight just launched a Spanish channel. So if you enjoy our videos, but your preferred language is Spanish, you can now watch these videos in your preferred language. Just check out the link in the description, head over there and give us a new subscriber. Now, I also want to mention that the submission deadline for the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest is tonight. So if you haven't gotten your submissions into us, be sure to do that. Let's get into the video. Now, as you can see, Rebel is just an exceptional glider. It's got these very wide wings and it's actually extremely aerodynamic as well. You can see how nice and slim that profile of the wing is. And it locks together in this three dimensional shape, which helps it again to remain aerodynamic. I like the way it looks just like this, but if you support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight, you can download and print off a template that lets you fold a version like this. Not only that, but there are over 70 other templates on that as well. So it's a great value for just $4 a month. And with that, let's see this plane in flight and then we'll, we'll teach you how to fold it. You can fold Rebel out of 8.5 by 11 inch or A4 paper. Today I'll be using 8.5 by 11 inch. This is Astrobrite Celestial Blue and it's their 24 pound paper. I'll begin by taking the right edge to the left. Take your time here. Make this center crease as symmetrical as possible. Once we have that, we'll open it up and I'll take this top edge to the bottom. I'm not actually going to take it all the way to the bottom. That looks about right. So just about a finger's width here. Crease that across. Once we have that, we'll open it up, turn it over. I want to take this edge back and I want to fold this edge to this in thirds. We'll do that by folding it back on itself just like this, making sure the center crease lines up. And when this half matches this half, that'll be at thirds. So we'll just make a pinch crease here, just like so. Turn the paper over. Now I wanna grasp this crease we already made between my thumb and forefinger, just like this, and hold both halves together. And I'm just rolling it forward. And I want this center crease to line up on this center crease and this top edge to land right on that pinch fold I made. We have that, we'll hold it in place. And I can feel the paper underneath here. And I'm just gonna crease right through just like this. And what we've done is made a pocket. And then I'm gonna mark, I can, I can feel this edge under the paper. You probably can't see it on camera. So I'll just mark that with my fingernail. And I wanna hold this flap like this and roll it back on itself and land this top edge right to that crease. And as before, making sure the center crease all lines up. I want to take the top edge and land right here on this top edge. Just like this. Now I want to take this top edge and land to center, forming a triangle. There's a lot of layers here, so I kind of use my thumb to cause it to roll so that these layers don't wrinkle. And I bring it right to the point. And I'm actually not going to land it right to center. I'm going to hold it back just about like that, and about half a finger swift. If you're using uh, A4 paper, you would go ahead and bring the edge right to center. And that's the only difference between the two paper sizes. So that looks about right. I'll crease that all the way through. And then I'll just match this side, controlling all these layers, going right to the point, and just eyeballing this. That looks good. Turn the paper over. And now we're just gonna fold it right back on this uh, valley crease we have here. I'll turn this over so I can see it a bit better. Now I wanna crease uh, from the tip just about halfway 
So if this is the halfway mark, um, with the back edge here, I want to go down just a little bit. I'll make a mark there so you guys can see it on camera. And I'm going to fold right from the tip and aim right for that point. I go gently here at first to make sure I'm going to make that right where I want it to be. And then we'll turn it over and do the same thing again. And we're just going to match the edges this time. Now we've got the basic shape of the plane. I'm going to open it back up again, pulling the spots out and lay it down. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this edge and land it on a crease. You can see this crease right here. And I'll do that by opening this flap up, letting all these layers come loose. And I'm just going to pinch it and roll it back on itself, just like this. And then I want to crease from this edge to center, no further. So we've made this nice diagonal line. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Patch the top edge here and then just crease in. So now I have two diagonal lines here. And you'll notice as I start to close up the paper, that'll hinge forward. I let it do that and I push tight here to make sure that these creases go all the way to the bottom and then I'll let it open all the way up. Now I'm gonna stand up this flap, and as I close it, I'm gonna fold over, Let's see if you can see on camera, I'm gonna fold these two edges over like this, fold it right back on itself. And then I'm gonna close up half the paper again. And what that's gonna do is create a lock, just like that. So lay the paper down. I want to take this edge and land it right on this crease here. We'll hold it back just, just a millimeter or less so that the, the wing can fold back on itself. And as you see this, there's this edge right here and the tip of this fold, depending on how you fold it, this will land just a little bit in a different spot. And I just fold the tip back just like this, because when you bring it up and put this flap underneath this pocket, just like this, if you fold that tip back, it'll cause it to, to go in easier. I'll turn it over and do the same thing again. There we are. Just a little tip is hanging out, so I'll just fold it back on itself just like this. And then as I close this up, I'm gonna bring this flap underneath this pocket. And that's gonna lock everything nice and neat. So now it's probably the trickiest part of the whole fold. This lock can tear uh, if you're not careful at this point. So what I do is I push down tight. I can kind of feel the lock in there. I push right on it, and then I'm keeping these layers compressed as I fold back along this previous fold we made. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Pushing in tightly there. I want to push out all the bubbles here of the wings. Make all these edges crisp. And there we have a finished Rebel. When you throw it, you probably won't need to do any up elevator. If it does dive, you can just give a little bit of a upturn here. With this plane, more is less, or less is more, I should say. Uh, pretty flat across the back. If it's banking to the right, you can just tweak the fuselage a little bit to the left. Or if it's going to the left, you can do that with the right. I had a fantastic time showing you how to fold this. I hope you have fun flying it. Till next time, happy flying. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. You can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane, and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com slash foldable flight and join the foldable fleet today.